Today I'm going to show you where to look when shooting a basketball. There has always been a great debate among great coaches and players on this topic. I'm here to tell you there isn't one right answer to this question. So today I'm going to give you a couple of different suggestions on where to look when you are shooting the ball and you can decide which one works best for you. I'm Coach Charlie with Attack Basketball Academy. As a premier basketball player development coach who specializes in shooting, I have trained thousands of players around the world on the techniques and tactics needed to become premium shooters. So in this video today, I want to show you where not to look and where to look when shooting. Next, I'm going to show you what Steph Curry looks at when he shoots. Last, I'm going to show you the top three shooting errors and how to fix them with your eyes. And on top of that, I have a bonus that I'll give you, but only if you stick around to the very end. So let's talk about what not to look at. Don't look at the front of the rim. Because we all, we all say this generically, look at the front of the rim. Well, the front of the rim changes, okay? The, the front of the rim changes. Now I'm at the side of the rim. Yeah, there's a front of the rim, but it's confusing, right? Now again, I'm at the side of the rim. Those things change, okay? They all change, okay? So looking at the front of the rim to me has always been ineffective because it's too many moving pieces, right? I'm looking at thinking about the front of the rim, the side of the rim, all those things change. And to me, it's just confusing. So where should you look? You should look at the middle of the rim. Think of it almost from a bird's eye view. You may not be able to have the clarity of that. Look at my circle I'm making. You wanna look at the middle of the rim, why? because the middle of the rim never changes. So if I go back to pacing the basket, the middle of the rim never changes. When I'm here, I can look at the middle of the rim. When I'm on a side, I can look at the middle of the rim. The middle of the rim never changes. And that's where you want to keep your eyes on that prize when you shoot the basketball. Because looking at the middle of the rim helps you increase your focus and concentration to produce a straight line shot every time. Before I, before I show you what Steph Curry looks at when he shoots, I noticed that you're not a subscriber. I develop premier basketball players and we have a lot of information on this channel. I roll out 20 new high quality videos every month to help you. So you may want to become a subscriber. Click that subscribe button. Okay, now I'm out of the picture for a reason because I want you to focus on what Steph Curry looks at when he shoots. See, Steph Curry looks at where the rings of the net meet the rim. And if you look at the hoop, you see where the net is hanging from the rim. Those are the rings. And what Steph looks to do every time he shoots, he looks to locate wherever he's at three rings, okay? And what I've done with this same stance is I've looked at those rings and I'm zooming in more. And I had a kid tell me one time, Coach, they look like bunny ears. Great. If that's a physical cue that works for you, let's use it. So look at the bunny ears hanging, right? I've had also people tell me, hey, Coach, look at the net, how it comes. It looks like a W, right? Right? You can see that. Okay, so whatever works for you, but Steph Curry looks at the first three rings. He likes to locate the first three rings on the rim, right? So looking there helps Steph Curry create a consistent straight shot every time. So if I'm you, I would want to create the traits and great strong traits like Steph Curry, right? So it also helps you create mental and physical cues, as I mentioned before because it causes you to look at the details, making you a more accurate shooter. Now that you know some options on what to look at when you shoot, I want you to comment below with the one you've learned that you feel that will help you the most natural to you when you shoot. Go ahead and let us know which one you like the best in the comments below. Now I'm gonna show you the top three shooting errors and how to fix them with your eyes. 
right, I want to get into what I call problem or error, then give you the solution right away. The first error that we make when we shoot, we shoot a shot that's short. Right? That ball barely got up to the rim. Every time you shoot it, it's flat, short. So let me give you the three errors that we, we talk about and how to fix them with your eyes. First shot you shoot is short. Short shots happen because your elbow's below your eyes. Now we talked about locating the middle of the rim. The rim is 18 inches in diameter. The middle of the rim is 9 inches. You want to shoot the basketball 11 inches deep, 11 inches deep in the hoop. So you want to go way beyond a swish. I, call, I tell my players all the time, don't go for a swish, go beyond a swish. Right, I'm giving you a mental cue. If we know the middle of the rim is 9, nine inches, we want to go beyond. We want to go plus 2 behind it. And studies have suggested from a company that charted over 100 million jump shots that 45 degrees, 11 inches deep into the rim is the ideal shot you want to shoot. So that's what I want to teach. With no technology, right, just using our mental uh, and, and physical cues, using our eyes and our mind's eye, I want to shoot the ball deep in the rim. Okay? That solves shooting short, right? Do it for my left hand as well. All right, that's a short shot. Go to the solution, shoot the ball longer, right? Go beyond the swish. Go beyond the swish. The second way you miss shots is what we call left-right deviation, okay? I'll square up here, right-handed. You shoot the ball, miss to the left. The ball goes across your body, right? We call that a hook shot. Right-handers, you shoot the ball to the left, right? That's a hook. You shoot the ball to the right, right? Shoot the ball to the right, went outside the camera, it's all good. We call that a slice, right? Solution, again, you want to go to the middle of the rim, wherever you're located. That's how you fix that left-right deviation. The third error, you shoot too long. Now every shot that you shoot, the ball goes way over the rim, okay? This is why I teach players to stay away from that word gooseneck. We, we, you know, I hear young coaches, you know, uh, again, not wrong, it's just ineffective. You know, hold, you know, hold your follow through up, but now my, my, my elbow's above my head because I'm trying to create this gooseneck. Now I'm shooting the ball too long. Okay? Solution, keep your elbow above your eye line, and again, go to that 11-inch deep shot. Notice my rhythm, right? This is the error. Shot the ball too long, and I go right into the solution. Shooting the ball deeper to the rim. And all those fixes are done with my eyes because, again, I'm going to the middle of the rim, I'm shooting the ball deep enough. Let's keep the momentum going with that bonus I mentioned earlier. We've covered a lot in this video. And I want to make sure I'm really helping you out. So I'd like to offer you a free guide that covers all the must-know basketball principles and in what situations to apply them. This is a powerful guide of best practice tips and skills empowering you to take charge of your game. Just click the link in the description below and you can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. And if you're really interested in becoming a consistent, repeatable jump shooter from anywhere on the floor, make sure you check out our eight-week shot fix program that can be found at the same link. It will take your shooting game to the next level, guaranteed. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.